Welcome back, my little recusants, to another episode of Final Fantasy X-2. So, we are just here in the Thunder Plains. We've just gathered all the people of New Yevon and the Youth League together for a concert. Spira's Live Aid to try and change the world. But things are not going that great. People are bickering, but hopefully this song from the High Summoner will change things. One thousand years ago, of before the time of sin, this lovely cutscene, Spira was torn in two, divided by a terrible war. This was Spira's great mistake. Out of the rift left by this terrible conflict, Sin was born. In only two short years, Spira has shaken off its unhappy past. We have moved on. Now, Spira grows brighter with each passing day. That light is our strength. I don't want to see it fade. Do you? There are so many of us, each with different ideas and different beliefs. Of course we sometimes disagree, and arguments will happen. But our hearts can and should always be one. Believe, Believe with, with me. me. Even if, if we, we are torn, torn apart, apart our, our feelings, feelings will, will unite us. us. That is what, what this song is about. I cried my eyes out 
So, Yuna became overwhelmed with emotions. Yuna. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm fine, really. What kind of ruins this it's scene a little bit now. for me is uh, the chocobo just going crazy in the background. What did Shinra say? Um, but he said it might be some kind of uh, interference with we the land. sphere waves. Yuni's dress sphere and the sphere screen reacted with each other and... uh. The consciousness burned into the dress sphere was projected onto the screen, or something like that. Okay, but that doesn't explain why it happened. When I asked, he said, I'm only a kid. Ugh. It's Len. I was singing her feelings. During the song, I could feel them welling up inside until they just burst. So the people we saw were Len and Shuyin? Everyone's waiting. Let's go. So, Yuna's mysterious dream from earlier was actually just her reliving Len's memories. Because she was sleeping in the song's distress here at the time. But head back to the bridge and we will have some more cutscenes. But realistically, it is just cutscene after cutscene until uh, we get to the end. But we have our pal Machen. And he's surely going to know about Lan. Twas a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers were Girl, all she quite literally enchanted. like. If it brings spirit together weather. even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Zanagant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Zanagant was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's Machina weapon and save Len. However... Oh. It didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shuyin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been... Um... Vegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone. Two years ago, I, I was the same. Trying to find some way... Some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. 
I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes, there is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. Well, what do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see so, Yuna. So, I'll have them wait in the engine room. down in Zanarkand. And a summoner from Zanarkand, no less. So there's all these ties and connections between Yuna and Len. And then of the connections with Len and Shuyin and Yuna and Tidus' doomed tragic love story. But yeah, so just um, hop down to the engine room, talk to LeBlanc. Um, and then that's going to be chapter 4 finished, really. So I don't like to talk over the cutscenes, but um, I'm just so happy this chapter's done. And we get to start ticking off chapter 5 and actually getting like all the good rewards. So listen, I'm going to leave the commentary here, let you guys finish off the cutscenes and uh, bask in the glow that is the chapter 4 ending scene. I'll chat to you guys later. Thank you. I've been hunting around since we last met and I happen to find a rather peculiar sphere. It shows my new Jiwuji. For some reason that chump barrel eye is there too. But it's from some years ago. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. How about you? Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Nuji's on the far plane. I saw him there with Gipple. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? I think he's searching for Barilai and Vegnagun. Oh, ho, ho. so Barilai is the one pulling Vegnagun strings. I should have known. No, that's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> you anything but that, boss? We are no match for that sort of opponent. Now don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. Well then, get this tanker moving. What have we here? Looks like a transmission, but it's pretty weak. What is? Hmm. I'm getting signals from the comm sphere we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Enough, little boy. Move aside. See? It connected. Inconceivable! Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Anybody home? Gipple! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. <gasps> Nuji! Have you 
done playing. Let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work? Death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a Death Seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she... But first, I want to try talking to Xu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. Crunch! Gall wings! We move out! Celsius! Move! Thank you. 